Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That's fucking gone! A two-run homer! Chad Green, you allow four fucking runs! It's seven to three! I want to say he like what he saw in the press conference. That just sounds like what he's going to fucking say. It just sounds like... I, I, I love it, man. This offense is going to turn it around. Let's... Let's... Let's, okay, guys, let's turn it around, guys. Let's turn it around. The offense will turn it around. 2-2. Two, two. Same time. Yankees lose. And, um, Yankees lose. 7-3. And are about for five and a half games out of first place. I said last week on Monday, the Yankees have 10 home games coming up against the Rays, the Jays, and the Red Sox. Not in that particular order. But it was three, four, uh, three, four, whatever. Three. The Yankees have gone three and six in that time. They're about to go three and seven if they lose tomorrow. It's a joke. The Yankees, I, they can't hit. I don't know what's going on. If it wasn't for Glaber hitting the two-run homer today, and if it wasn't for Glaber getting the sack fly today, there's nothing. Like, there's nothing. Giancarlo can even hit Eduardo Rodriguez, who came into this fucking game with last four starts with an 8.69 ERA? Come on, B. What are we doing? Six hits? That shit gets me tight, bro. We got to do something, bro. This see something got to change, bro. I'm happy that they brought up Gittins. I get it. Fine, but something's got to happen. This guy's got to produce. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I can't with this shit. We got to do something, bro. We got to do something. Keep your pinstripe strong. Say pinstripe strong. Let's go, Yankees. Let's knock us fucking sweat tomorrow. How about that? She just fucking ass. Fucking shit. Now I got to hear Aaron Boone talking about, oh, this team is fucking awesome. This team is fucking awesome. I think they're going to turn the corner. They have the capabilities. The capabilities of the team are there. They're there. I believe it. I believe it. You're 31 and 28. You're in, you're about to be in fourth place in your division, bro. You lead the league in double plays. You keep making outs on the base paths. What are you doing? You're not hitting. You're basically in last place in every offensive category that there is no to man, B. Like, what's good? What's good? What are we doing, B? What are we doing? Respond. How are the Yankees going to respond in this against division rivals? Three against the Blue Jays, you lose two out of three. You got swept against Detroit. I don't even want to talk about that. You got swept against Detroit. Then you split a series that you probably should have won, you know, against, against the Rays. And then you lose two out of three against the fucking Red Sox who see you for the first time and show you how to fucking hit. They show you how to hit. The Red Sox come right into your house and show you how to hit. This is what a level swing looks like, motherfucker. While you guys are popping up and swinging up with your uppercut swings, the rest of us are coming in and putting the bat on the ball with level swings, getting line drives, line to line, all night. And he's talking shit. You see what I mean? He's doing... Chad Green! Fuck! That's just a bullshit, man! You keep giving up big homers, bro! Come on! No way that's what you do for your team, bro! Chad Green was good! You see what your team did, and you come back and you do that? Come on! Unbelievable! Ain't no fucking way Chad Green gives him that moment! You strike that motherfucker out! Yo, I'm off Chad Green, bro. Dead ass. I'm off Chad Green, bro. Bro, how the fuck you do that? How you do that, Green? It's so ass! The fucking manager is ass! I can't believe the Yankees lost that game! Did he get a hit? 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 Did he get a
In the eighth inning. I cannot believe it. From Lo Isaac coming in, not doing shit, not getting an out. Second day, everybody in the fucking tri-state area knowing he did not have it. To, to Aaron Boone sending out Matt Blake to talk to this motherfucker instead of taking him out. To Giancarlo staying with the bases loaded doing absolutely nothing. I mean, what the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? What's up with this team, bro? You can't win the games that you're supposed to win, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking for shit. I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking for. Answers. Hello there. Boone has no idea what the fuck he's doing, bro. I need to know what is your logic for this man who just allowed. I want to know what is going to be the Yankees' reason that they're going to give. Their little excuses that they give every fucking year. Every, every year that we fucking fail. I want to know what their excuses are going to be. Because this is unacceptable. And I don't want to hear you say, oh, the players. Yes, the players. We know that. The players. But you put the fucking team together. So what's up? You guys wanted to arrest people. In certain games, what's up? I want to know. This strategy that you have has not worked. You made Gary go down on one knee. It hasn't worked. It hasn't made him better. It's made him worse. Glaber has gotten worse since he first came up. What are we doing? There's obviously something that you're doing in the minor leagues that's working to get them up here, and then you tail off. Why? I need an explanation, bro, because none of this shit makes sense. Ain't no way you selling me on, oh, this team is a World Series contender, all this shit, year after year after year, and you do this. This is the product we have. Well, you can't beat, you can't sweep people like the Orioles. Where you're getting beat 7-1 with your ace on the mound to the Indians. Where you're in a position where you now have to sweep the three teams that are in front of you. Garrett Cole is allowed to have a bad night. He's allowed to have a bad day. But the offense, how many days are you, are you going to be allowed to have a bad day? Every day the pitcher's got to pitch under the pressure of, I got to be perfect. Every day. You're trying to go to work every single day, and you every day is a clutch situation. Come on. Yo, you can come up clutch every now and then. But how about allowing the pitchers to pitch to the scoreboard a little bit? No. Every pitcher got to be perfect. We're not getting mad at the pitching. No more. No more. I don't give a shit if Garrett Cole give up 15 runs. Where's the offense that if you score against these teams that are already out of the playoffs, that they're going to be like, you know what? Why should I even try anymore? Where's the offense? Look at the energy that the Indians played with on Friday. Once you went up, a big amount. And that game at first was still kind of close. Come on. I don't know what they got to do in this offseason. I don't know what it is, but they got to figure this shit out. Marcus Daines, get the fuck up out of here. Boom, get the fuck up out of here. I need a whole new coaching staff next year. I need somebody that can be able to teach these guys discipline. I need somebody that's not going to be punting games. I need somebody that knows how to manage a bullpen. This team has gotten worse since 2017. How? And don't talk to me about all oh, the Yankees won over 100 games. and no, no, no. Don't talk to me about that shit. What the fuck? Bro, I don't know. What is this strategy? It's not working. So if it's not working, change. Pivot. Pivot deep to left. Fair ball, it's gone. It is up the screen. A home run. Good Gary job, Gary, Sanchez. man. I'm glad you hit a home run. I'm glad you hit a home run, Gary. I'm glad you hit a home run because this could have been a one-run game if Heaney wasn't in the fucking game. Two-two count. I am getting furious! What the fuck? Shit! I've never been mad during a Yankee home run, bro. Never!
Get this out. No. Walk off. Walk him. Fucking walk off. He walked off. Yup. I seen this movie before. I seen this movie before. I seen it. I seen it. I fucking seen it before. Fucking lost. You lost. You had the game. You had a 3 1 lead. And you're fucking closer on the mound. Look what happens. This is what happens when you don't convert out. This is what happens when your freaking closers and your relievers aren't freaking used for God knows how long because you're too busy freaking losing. This is what happens. This is just what it is. We got fucking sweat, B. We got swept out of Fenway. You had a chance to win this game. Chapman for all his fucking struggles and we can blame him for all that shit, right? Tanaka gives you a great, the best pitch game of this freaking series even though it's not even, he didn't even give you freaking five innings. But he still gave you a chance. Brayton comes in, he struggles, gives you a chance. D-Rob does a good job. Freaking Batanza struggles a little bit, finds it. Pineda, that's the first thing I'm gonna say right now. Right on this video, I'm gonna say this shit right now. Fuck Michael Pineda. Not even the incentive of fucking money would get Michael Pineda to pitch well. To not be out there fucking flopping his hands all over the place. You know what? I'm sick of it, man. That's it, bro. The guy come out here with some fucking, some gutless ass performance, bro. It's like, you come up and you give him five fucking runs? Come on now. Chad Green comes in, he gives up the one home run to Russell Martin, fine, I understand, whatever, you know, Yankees battle back into this fucking game, try to bail out Pineda again, you get a home run from G-Man Choi, who's already more productive than Chris Carter, already, I feel a lot safer with every single infielder, even the freaking grandma in the third, in the freaking third base side stands, throwing the ball to, to first base, rather than having Chris Carter right now. I have a lot more confidence in that. But right now, it's the bullpen. It is. Because, of course, Pineda was a freaking piece of shit today. He was. You ain't got to tell me about that. But I don't even want to speak about him. That's how disgusted I am. But when it comes to the bullpen, and you got a lead, where there's a team fought back to give you a freaking lead, and you blow it. I'm sick of this. 33, bro, I mean, it's like so many blown saves. The Yankees have not, they lost today, obviously. This is why I'm angry. They have not won seven straight series. Seven. And one tie against the freaking White Sox. They have not won one. And then we wonder why the Red Sox are up four and a half right now. Probably five today, because these guys don't lose. Every freaking time. You get Dylan Matanzas come in with a one-run lead and the motherfucker walks the whole fucking ballpark. You got people cheering in the stands when he actually comes up and hit and freaking throws one strike. You can't come in the freaking game and walk five people? What the hell? This guy's an all-star. What's going on?